Well, good afternoon. Today I'd like to show you a little trick called the animated matchboxes, but in order to see it, I'm going to have to tilt the camera down. So if you wait just a second, I'll be able to show you this apparatus from the correct angle. Well, hopefully you have a good view of the apparatus we're going to be using today. This is a little trick that magicians used to do when I first came to Los Angeles, and it's called the animated matchboxes, and I thought you might like to see it. We have two matchbox drawers full of matches, or half full anyway. And we have these two matchboxes that we're going to put end to end. Now the matches play no real part in this. It's the drawers that we want to pay attention to. And for our intents and purposes, we'll refer to this as the right side, and this is the left side. So we're going to take these drawers and demonstrate that they are sympathetic with one another when they're used with matchboxes made by the same company. And what I mean by that is if I push in on your right, the one on the left moves out. If I push that drawer back in, the one on the right moves out. We could do this forever, and perhaps you figured it out. Now a lot of people, a lot of people guess and they say, well, there must be something in between those matchboxes. So that's why I have the playing card here. We'll put that here like that. Kind of get it all nice and set evenly here. Look, I push in on the left, matchbox on the right goes out, vice versa, I push here, and this goes out. Now, a lot of people suspect magnets, and that's a reasonable thing to suspect. They might think a magnet would work somehow, but when you put them side to side like this, you know, a magnet really can't work, and yet the matchboxes still move in sympathy. I press in this matchbox, and that drawer goes out. I push in this matchbox drawer, and the other matchbox drawer goes out. Now, some people at this point, they think, well, suppose you took it around on the other side and pushed it in there. Would that work? Well, let's find out. We'll push in here, and the matchbox on your right moves out. We push in on the right, and the left moves out. Once again, we'll put the card in between the two matchboxes to make sure there's no mechanical connection between them. We push in here, and we push in here. Well, at this point, I think you have the idea of how this works, or at least the principle of the trick that's involved. So let me take the matchboxes like this and put them between my fingers so that you can plainly see them. Close up, look. Even when they're separated by a space, the thing still works just the same. I push in here, that matchbox goes out, I push in here, this matchbox goes out. We could go on like this forever, but here's the thing. People are concerned that I never have the ability to put the matchboxes away. But that's not true. It's really not. We can put them like this. We pass the card over them like this. We push in this matchbox drawer here, and they're all in. I hope you enjoyed the little trick we called the animated matchboxes. It certainly is one of my favorites. Now, animation plays a part in the movies that we're going to see today. In fact, it's no exaggeration for me to say to you that the actor in these movies influenced me more than any other actor in movie history. I patterned virtually my entire life after the star of these movies, the way I've conducted myself in public, my personal relationships, my comportment, all these things are a result of my watching these instructional films that you're going to see here today. So here's a chance to compare me with 